Welcome back to the Hi-Fi Turtle YouTube channel. My name is Ray and I'm here in Morn Grove, Illinois at Quintessence Audio taking an exclusive first look at the new Wilson Audio Alex V. I'm gonna go over the specifics of this speaker and the intricacies that go into it. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. This speaker seen here is in the cranberry pearl finish, which is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna give some basic listening impressions. I've been listening to these speakers for about an hour and a half now, and I have to say they sound absolutely phenomenal. So stay tuned for an exclusive first look at the Wilson Audio Alex V. The Alex V is Wilson Audio's latest luxury creation. Coming in at $135,000 for the pair, Wilson changed nearly everything from the original Alex, and in many ways this speaker resembles their $329,000 Chronosonic XVX. Let's go over the driver array. At the upper midrange we have a 5 and 3 quarters inch Revelator Dope Paper Cone, custom made for Wilson. For the treble, the new Convergence Synergy Carbon Tweeter, which has a 3D printed carbon fiber rear wave chamber made in house. The lower mid-range is a 7-inch cone made for the XVX and now found in the Alex. It features an Al Nico magnet structure Wilson calls Quadramag. For the base drivers, there are two drivers, one 10.5 inches, the other 12.5 inches. While these drivers are the same size as the XVX, the cabinet itself is just shy of that label. Exclusive to the Alex V is the new acoustic diode footing, which uses the brand new V material in it. There is also V material in part of the driver enclosures and gantry, which I'll show later. The v V material is the latest material from Wilson and the fact they put V in the name of the speaker I think shows how excited they are about it. I think this speaker looks absolutely amazing, especially in the cranberry pearl finish that just adds color depth to the cabinet. The grills and gantry covers are also available in different colors to customize for your desired look. Now let's look at the back of the speaker. The mid-range drivers are individually slot ported with a foam stuffing that helps dissipate port noise, while the tweeter is completely sealed. Each driver has its own umbilical light cable coming off of the cabinet base. Going down the back of the speaker, there are the signature Wilson ladders that allow you to adjust the individual drivers in the time domain and angle them to work with your listening position. If I was still in my high school algebra class, I could probably tell you how many possible positions there are here, but it has to be hundreds if not thousands of possible adjustments. True to Wilson, there is a resistor panel that has power resistors for each mid-range driver as well as the tweeter. The speaker itself only has a single pair of five-way binding posts for your amp Amplifier. Right above that is the large XLF port. The XLF allows you to either use the front or back port, whichever is better for your room. The unused port is covered by an aluminum plate. Now let's go to the gantry where V material is found once more. Once the grills are removed, you can see it clearly. I listened to the Alex V for about an hour and a half with a DCS Vivaldi DAC, Boulder 1110 Pre, and 1160 Power Amp. It was an absolute pleasure to listen to. I don't want to get into too much detail because I only listened for a limited time, and I think I can say a lot with a little when it comes to this speaker. You may think because of the size and large bass woofers, this is a bass heavy speaker. That is certainly not the case. The bass is very neutral and doesn't get in the way of the other characteristics. Bass drums sounded very true to me, not loose and exaggerated, but also not overly tight and machine-like, not trying to be anything but a bass drum kick. Wilson's strength has always been vocals in my opinion, and the Alex V delivers that in spades. It is not a singer in the room with you kind of sound. It is a singer at a concert hall kind of sound. Imagine you're alone in a concert hall with a singer on stage, and you are placed about 15 to 20 feet back. That is the sound of the Wilson mid-range. Daryl Wilson frequents concert halls for inspiration, so this doesn't surprise me at all. Other meat in the mids like pianos and guitars were fantastic with an exceptional soundstage and depth. Then there is the Convergence Energy Carbon Tweeter. I thought the MK5 was already an extremely good tweeter from hearing it in the Sabrina X. The carbon is on a whole other level. Fatigue and harsh are absolute strangers to this unit, but detail and clarity are on full display. I don't know how to tell you how good this tweeter is without you hearing it, but I'll say this. Focal, watch your back. After hearing so many speakers, especially those well into five figures and beyond, I think you come to a point where there aren't many surprises. It's not going to be like the first time you heard an amazing system or had enough detail and dynamics to hear subtle nuances that you didn't hear on lesser systems. The Alex V is so good, I felt like I recaptured those early moments in my audiophile journey. 
The details and substance of the music was like being spoon fed, and the spoons just keep on coming. You could focus on one thing in a song or just let the symphony cascade over you in a way that like Wilson's steps and ladders left you with thousands of possibilities just for a single piece. That's gonna do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive first look at the Wilson Audio Alex V here at Quintessence Audio in Warren Grove, Illinois. If you're in the Chicagoland area, you gotta come check these out. You gotta come to Quintessence. They're one of the best dealers in the area, if not the best. They always treat me with respect and I can't recommend them enough, to be honest. So big shout out to Quintessence Audio. Thank you, Mick, again, for letting me come here and film this. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. It really helps me out. Check the links below in the description for other ways to help the channel out. And I'll see you in the next 